welcome to the garden. This is a bell pepper. It's one of the best that I've ever grown. It's incredible. It's almost the size of a pumpkin. A little small for a pumpkin, but really large for a pepper. I'm really proud of this one. Look at the stem on that thing, too. Wow. It's got to be strong because this is a heavy fruit. This thing is really hefty. There's my little spider back there. We get these jumping spiders. Looks like two of them. But these things are huge. Normally jumping spiders are tiny. But these ones are actually quite large and kind of fuzzy like a tarantula. They're mostly black but they've got an orange spot on their tail there and a couple white dots and a little bit of a green color to them. They're pretty beautiful and they're keeping my garden clear of pests so I'm really happy to have them But back to this beautiful pepper, I cannot wait to taste test this. But before we do that, I want to have a little bit of fun with this. I didn't get any pumpkins to grow this year. I think they just didn't get enough sun. But I think I'm going to carve this pepper as a jack-o'-lantern. I think that'll be really interesting. So I want to start by cutting out this blemish. This will give us a nice little key in how to line up our lid later on. And we don't have to worry about it once we bring it into the kitchen. So now, I'm just going to carve the lid off. This is so funny, it's like carving a pumpkin. And hopefully, this will release and keep that stem. See if I can. There we go. Ooh, look at that. The seeds are starting to mold. Huh, I've never seen that before. I think that's fine for culinary purposes. We can just wash that away. And we might actually be able to save some of these seeds still. This is what happens when they don't get to dry out properly. So we'll space them out and just let them breathe and dry out for a little bit. Just cut all that stuff off. Oh, I didn't cut a steep enough angle. So we're going to have to improvise later. Now for the fun part. We can cut a little face. Just like a regular pumpkin. So I'm going to pick a nice flat side. I think this side is the best. And I'm just going to start cutting in. We'll do a traditional triangular eyes, I think. This is such a nice sharp knife too. Really simple to carve. That's perfect right there. So it gives it a little sort of a pupil down here. That's fun. So let's do another one. Try and get him symmetrical. I want him to be as handsome as we can get him. That orange color really makes it look like a pumpkin, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to put a lantern in there tonight. That'll be fun. I just widened those eyes a little bit, opened them up a bit more. I think they look awesome. And I'm taste testing the pepper with these little 
bites that we've removed. They're absolutely delicious. Mmm. Bell peppers are so sweet, and when they're ripe like this, they're just incredibly fruity. Oh, I love it. So let's see if we can give this guy a little smiley face. And then we'll give him some teeth at the top. I guess we're doing big fangs. <laughs> it's kind of an accident, but I think it'll work out. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. And yes, we get to eat this whole big slice of pepper. Look at that. Oh, the color is just extraordinary. Or we could make a little crown. <laughs> that might be fun. But I think I'm going to eat this one. It's just too delicious. Oh, look at that fresh pepper there. That is so beautiful. It looks like an orange. Like a big, freshly peeled orange. Wow. Mmm. So juicy. And so sweet and flavorful. Mmm. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. This little jack-o'-lantern out of a bell pepper turned out just perfectly. So I'm going to try another one. And also a couple little jalapenos. So when I cut in, I'm not going to do vertical. I'm going to cut in at a real steep angle. That way, our lid will just sit on top. Now we've got a nice, even-fitting cap, so we can work on a face. This pepper's a bit taller and a bit more yellowish-orange, so I think we'll have fun with that and kind of use those characteristics to make a longer face. Maybe something with a shock emotion on it or something. Now, the jalapenos are going to be a little tricky. I think I'm going to let them sit on their side, so we'll carve little eyes and a big wide smile. But we're still going to get this cap off, so what I'm going to do here is just cut down as deep as I can. That way we'll sever any sort of connection that those seeds have. I've tried to do this before by just kind of cutting that around that cap, but the seeds actually connect all the way down the length of the pepper. So we've really got to sever those ties. But we might be able to use this technique to make jalapeno poppers someday. So I think this will be a fun little experiment. Yeah, I've cut in a circle around our cap. So we left quite a few seeds in there. I don't know if you can see those. But we did get some. It went even smoother with the second pepper. Check that out. We actually got most of those seeds. So let's start carving. I'm going to do real steep eyes. This would actually be great practice for your pumpkins if you've got those this year. But I didn't manage to grow any. Plenty of pumpkin flowers, but no fruit. So that's coming along nicely. Now, how do we portray shock? Maybe a big gaping mouth. We'll do the teeth up here and then lower down here. But we'll keep it like a big screaming <laughs> mouth. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is so much fun. Now let's do some teeth in here. Just like that. Check that out. Those are some good looking dentures. Yeah, we'll try and keep it to two buck teeth. <laughs> oh, that's kind of scary. Oh, I love that. I like the way that one turned out. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Now, the really interesting part, I think, is going to be carving these little jalapenos. But I'm going to keep it simple. Just do little triangular eyes. I want to do a huge smile. We'll start the mouth here and break it into little pieces so that we have supports as little teeth. Be careful though. It's a real tiny fruit. <laughs> that is perfect. Oh, I love this. So let's do this other jalapeno in the same fashion. <laughs> yes. 
the buck teeth. I love that. Oh, this is funny. So let's cap them up. I want to wait till it's a little bit darker and we'll try and sneak some candles in here, maybe some LEDs. And on these really little ones, I might be able to use some like keychain flashlight kind of stuff. But these turned out so great. I really like that you can carve basically anything as a jack-o'-lantern. The first jack-o'-lanterns were like turnips and stuff, so they weren't even pumpkins. But this is actually great practice if you've got pumpkins to carve. So I really hope you give this a grow. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Happy Halloween! Thank you.